Hey everyone, it's Byron. I'm here to testify for Jesus Christ. I want to talk about, I raise the question, what are you holding back? And by holding back, I want you to imagine such as a, a tidal wave or something that's coming and you're trying to hold it and stop it from happening. Uh, maybe something's about to fall, the wall's about to fall over or something. And what are you holding back from happening? And, and the, the verse of scripture that I want to talk about is in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. And I'm going to pull it up here and I want to read it. It says, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until, until he be taken out of the way. And that's King James Version. But I want you to look at the word letteth. And if you look the word letteth up in the Greek, you're basically going to be able to translate it to only he who is now withholding. And you can see within the sentence, it's talking about a mystery of iniquity. And iniquity is bad things. So if you consider you have to have a certain standard in life, let's just say like it's the law of God. That's a standard, the standard in which we were to live by. Um, and if that is not being upheld or someone is not holding the iniquity back or holding up the law or holding the iniquity back um, someone's not doing their job and when you look at second Thessalonians chapter 2 in verse 7 a lot of times people say he is the Holy Spirit and I think there's a you know a, there's a there's some pros to that but I don't think it's correct I don't think it's accurate um, when the Holy Spirit leaves this earth there Jesus Christ will have gathered together his saints. But there's some things that are going to happen before the saints are gathered together. Um, so that, that wouldn't, some certain things are going to happen that goes against some kind of, some popular teachings. I'm not going to get into all that, but I, I'm not a pre-tribulation rapture guy. But anyway, the question was, what are you withholding? What are you holding back? And, and I want to present the, 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 I'm going to paint the picture here. You belong to a family. You belong to a neighborhood. Maybe you belong to a church, some local body. Uh, maybe you go to school. Maybe you are in a workplace. Um, there, there's various different places that we can find. Or you can be in the supermarket, you know, various different places. You can find yourself throughout the day or throughout the week or the month or the year. And based on your presence, based on the manner in which you conduct yourself, what exactly is being withheld from happening? Let's just say for an example, do people uh, curse around you? And if they do, and you don't think it's appropriate for public or whatever, do you ever do anything to stop it? Or let's just say um, some people are being too loud or unruly in a certain area. And do you ever do anything to stop it? Now, to, to stop it, excuse me. Uh, you know, ladies, I, there's a lot of places that you can have an impact. But I'm not, I'm not necessarily talking about something that both genders would traditionally do i'm talking about mainly as the scripture states he i'm talking about uh, the the male who has a masculine presence um and and that can be literally or it can be spiritually such as who is equipped with the holy ghost such as testosterone the holy ghost strength to withhold things and this is a topic that's been um, it's been part of my thought process for many years not this didn't just crop up yesterday because what, what I have learned and what I've studied and what I've came came to understand over time is that currently in the society in which we live and I can say this is global this is not just the United States um, there are a lot of weak, 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 extremely weak men. And I can say that from a 
a manly or physical fleshly perspective such as low testosterone maybe maybe not but just lack of courage for sure but also lack of men and women in this category in this case who lack the drive or lack the leading of the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is not uh, active in their life so they do not feel the role that they should feel so in essence you could say well let's just say could the Holy Ghost's presence in people be diminished to this point that it is as, as if the Holy Ghost was not in the earth that, and I'm not saying that could be the case but what if it could be what if that was the actual thing if if the Holy Ghost was in you but not operating actively in you so that your presence didn't salt the earth then could iniquity abound and 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 I just want to present that that's the first little portion of the presentation the second portion of is now how has society degraded because you or we or me have not been the salt or have not provided the withholding process or have not shined our light into darkness or have not been the light of the world so what has occurred in our society as a result of that and and specifically i want to just tell you let's just let me do the study of the word normal no matter where you grew up no matter what you were exposed to no matter what you became accustomed to you could pretty much say well that was normal for me you could say it was a great life and that was my normal or you could say oh it was horrible but that was my normal so whatever situation you you find yourself in you're in your quote unquote normal so <clears throat> what if things had become so bad that your normal was so far from biblical truth but you accepted it and you decided well there's nothing I can do I I don't know what to do and and you just let let things go on like they are and your society around you as a result of that will continue to degrade it's the mystery of iniquity you know monkey see monkey do it gets worse and worse and worse and worse and multiplies and pretty soon you got kids running around that don't have a clue what the truth is so from going from who is the he in that is withholding to your normal and what is normal around you and are you changing normal in your daily presence around people are you withholding a like I say, say it's a workplace and there's certain safety guidelines are you one that just steps over trip hazards are you one that picks them up and then points out to other people hey give me a hand or hey grab that one right there so and that, that's salt that's saltiness that's that's making an impact your presence making an impact on your society no matter how big or little you may think it is it may be a two-person work group or it could be a major city a big one <clears throat> so as a result of not being the salt of the earth as a result of not making change or upholding a standard or as the case with this verse it says it uses the english word letteth and i think that's probably archaic at this point but basically it just means if you're not withholding things from coming about jesus said if you're not the salt of the earth if you've lost your savor what good are you it's got to be thrown out cast cast out something like that and that would that would bring you to the point of what impact have you personally had on the degradation of the society around you and it takes you from a place of gosh I just don't know what's going on with the world I just haven't got a clue uh, I can't believe it can get any worse than it already is to the point of wait a minute wait a minute hold up hold up hold up hold up what can I personally do about this world around me and, and I don't want to make this a big like grandiose type thing where you think well I got to go and 
create a whole new city or anything like that. But there's things within your power. There's even looks you can give somebody or whatever that um, that would slow down iniquity. That would make them think. And perhaps, and this happens to me quite often because I'm, I'm one of those kind of guys. I can't just walk past things without saying something. <clears throat> it's hard for me to do that. But occasionally when I challenge somebody, I'll give you a, a real world example. Um, there's a sidewalk up beside the neighborhood Walmart in my hometown, which we now have no parking signs on as a result of perhaps my video. Yeah, definitely a result of my video because the mayor got involved. But there was a guy who was pulled over and, you know, getting ready to park on the sidewalk. And I took issue with it. I said, dude, man, do not drive your vehicle on the sidewalk that I'm supposed to be able to safely walk down. And man, he pushed back. They, leave me alone, man. Get out of here. This ain't none of your business. Da, 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 da. And I didn't leave it alone. I did not leave it alone. I went into the store. He had not moved at the time that I went into the store. I popped my head back out, and as a man came out of the store, I said, hey, hey, man, watch out, watch out. We got we got a dude right there that's probably going to get somebody hurt. I said it loud enough so that other people could hear. I rebuked him. I, I exposed him for who he was. I went into the store, and I was in there quick, in and out. Boom. He was gone. Not only was he gone from the sidewalk when I came out, I couldn't find him in the parking lot. So... He withstood me to the face because he, you know, got to have that little, but in reality, he knew I was right. So what are we doing to affect that in our society? And I'm not trying to ask you to put yourself in harm's way. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not, not, not kindling, in, uh, hopefully not kindling anything within you that would put you in danger. But I am asking you, do you have saltiness? Could you be the one holding back iniquity in your little sphere of the world? And the, the one thing that, that has come to mind, and I'm going to end with this point here. I've had that's like three points. Start with the mystery of iniquity and who's withholding and continue on. Are you being salty? Are you the person? Are you it who's holding things back or whatever? But then finally, I just want to say, there is a person around you whose normal will blow your mind. Like if you were to be secretly in their house and things going on inside their house, but they weren't able to observe you, you, you would probably fall over just faint. You'd be like, I cannot believe the conditions this person has to live in. There was a girl um, back a long time ago when I drank heavily <laughs> The judge made me go to AA, and, and, and in AA, I ended up running to a girl that I had gone to high school with, and she told me that she was prostituted by her parents when she was in middle school and high school. So she would go to school, come home, have to live the life of a prostitute in her home while her parents entertained guests for that purpose. I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is, you know, I live in Decatur, Alabama, and this was happening then back in the 80s and maybe late 70s. I could not believe this was going on, you know. So <laughs> that was her normal. Can you imagine somebody living around you that that's their normal and you, it's not like, <laughs> You know, if it's something is a well-kept secret, you're not going to know about it. But what if you were to be able to act in a certain way to at least slow that down or stop that, you know? Maybe make a statement to some neighbors or whatever. Would you have the courage to do so? Hey, something just doesn't look right there. It's just kind of got me freaked out. I don't know, man. And, and that's the point because... <clears throat> As iniquity abounds, and as as we don't be, and we're we don't be, we aren't the salt of the earth. Iniquity continues to abound, and it has an impact on people. Can you imagine the like if you were to classify things under personality disorders and things like that? Can you imagine the number of personality disorders people could be obtaining if they were subjected to the example I just used? It's like, oh my goodness, man, you know, it's like, 
these people are what, growing up in what I consider to be horrible situation, and that's their normal. They can't do anything about it. They got this thing called C complex PTSD, prisoners of war, things like that. You grew up in a family that's jacked up, and you have you know this trauma that's happened to you, and and after the trauma, it has impacts for years. In 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 certain cases, and I'll tell you, I've I've done this too. Uh, in certain cases, you you think it's normal, you think it was normal, and then later on in life, you go back and you go, wait a minute, hold up, dude. What I experienced was not normal. That was that was so different. So the idea here is to to spark your interest or to um, exhort you <laughs> to think, what can I do? If if he who's withholding iniquity, if he who's holding up the banner of truth or whatever, happens to be a person, and that person were to be me in my sphere of the world. Am I willing to do that? And if not, what do I need to equip myself with in order to be able to do that? And I got to say that, that I think this is cool. I mean, I know this is going to be hard for some people to grasp, but you need a shot of testosterone in a spiritual sense, not, not, a, not, not a physical sense. You don't have to be physically overbearing or anything like that. But from a spiritual sense, you need the Holy Ghost, that shot of testosterone to empower you. Jesus told the disciples, man, whoo. <laughs> he said, you will receive power from on high. He said, wait, hold up. Don't go anywhere. Because <laughs> soon you're going to receive power from on high and you'll be my disciples going everywhere. And, and, and the, the disciples, man, in the Acts, they prayed for boldness, <laughs> you know. So, so when you wonder what's happened to my world and you wonder, oh, could it get worse than this? Think about the possibility that the, the, perhaps the greatest change in your whole entire world is people not walking in the power of the Holy Ghost and making a difference in their society. Not that iniquity has just overtaken but that people have stopped holding it back. So it did overtake. That's my point, man. That's my point. That's been on my mind. You know, you know when I start shedding tears and stuff, I'm not sitting here, this is not tears thinking, that, oh gosh, what did I experience and him experience and she experienced or anything like that. Sometimes these tears, I think they come just because I know I'm on the truth. I'm just, I'm speaking the truth and the, it's bear witness. The Holy Ghost. So anyway, let you go.